Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about pessimistic concurrency control. So we have already seen what is pessimistic concurrency control, and if uh, if you have missed that uh, example, just click on this i button, watch that example first, and come back here. Okay, let's get started. So how do you define you no know, uh, locking in uh, behavior definition? In a managed way that is what we are going to see today so this is my simple application okay where uh, you have one keys and uh, one data column so currently we are having single instance okay so nothing else so let's uh, go back to the behavior definition okay this is my behavior definition by default now we have to mention the locking mechanism of the behavior definition so here uh, I have mentioned lock master. So we can uh, give uh, another two option called dependent. Okay. So in case if you are uh, locking mechanisms not on this current behavior definitions and depend on uh, another behavior definition or business object, so you can use this dependent uh, keyword. So how it relates to the another business object is based on the association you used here. Okay. The another thing is more master unmanaged. So it's truly unmanaged scenario where you have to handle uh, locking mechanisms. In this video, I'm going to show you a short demo about the master. So if we keep a uh, lock master, the framework knows that it has to handle the locking mechanism by default all right so no need to make any other changes just simply activate that's it your uh, locking mechanism is ready for your application so i have done this maybe let's quickly test it in our application i go back to my application there is still one instance so to test this i am creating a duplicate of this Okay, so consider this is a client one and this is client two. Okay, right now both has the same data. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to uh, make, I'm trying to edit this instance. Okay, meanwhile, I'll try to update some other data with the client two instance. So, uh, so normally I can't do this. For testing purpose, I go back and I do a determination here. So I'll order some simple determination. Basically, you don't need to do anything. There is nothing related to now locking mechanism here. So for the demo purpose, I'm just creating this determination just to make sure. So here is our uh, determination. So let's add a simple code here. Okay, I'll make a breakpoint. So why I'm doing a make a breakpoint? Uh, so you will find it in a few seconds. So in order to change this instance from the OData client one, okay. So I'll trigger a update request. Let's I try to change or uh, testify here. So what would happen? It would stop there at the determination. Okay, correct. So I will keep the debugging point here. So meanwhile, I okay. Currently, the instance will get locked. Okay. So meanwhile, I'll go back to the client two and I try to change the record here. So you will see what you what you get in the response. Just saying you cannot edit this instance at the moment. It's currently locked. Right. So this is just a short demo in order to 
check your locking mechanisms you know um, so that's what i have created this determination just again i'm telling you there is nothing related to the determination here just for the demo okay so looks good maybe i just release the lock now execute it just go back uh, maybe i'll save it again due to e tag it will not uh, hello maybe i'll refresh yeah so now if i try to change it yes okay again back just execute so yeah it has changed from the old data client so yeah that's it about the locking mechanism so if you like this video just do thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more videos thank you for watching have a nice day